Hi, welcome back to the third video in this EndNote video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a reference from the internet to your library. I listened back over my last two videos and uh, my voice is kind of drony and, and doesn't sound very exciting. I guess the material here doesn't lend itself to being particularly jovial or exciting, but uh, I apologize for that. Um, I hope that these videos are bearable and that they're giving you something. I'll try to spice it up if I see an opportunity. Anyway, so um, here is my way of importing things into the EndNote library. Let's say that you want to know about 3D bioprinting of heart tissue, which happens to be my PhD subject. First stop, I just Google exactly what I'm looking for. And you can see using this search engine, this is the first site that came up. So you click on this. And you can see it's nature.com, so it's going to take you to the actual uh, website of the journal rather than, for example, PubMed or, or some other um, online database of papers. Now, once you get to the website where your paper is and you've read the paper and you think, oh, this is great, this is a spot on, I need to save this to my library because I want to cite it in papers and I want to remember it and have it saved forever. Each website for each journal will have a slightly different way that you can save your citation. So it's not always completely obvious where you go to do that. But here they have something called cite this article. So let's try that. You click cite this article, you get taken down, and you get shown this uh, link, download citation. Now that's the one that you're looking for, because what that means is it's going to download the EndNote citation which these people have programmed in already with all the details that you need to populate your EndNote. Now I've got my EndNote set up to uh, automatically import this file type, so it's automatically doing that, and there it is. You can see that it's now in my imported references. It's now in my library. Now if I want to immediately put this reference over into assignment one, I just drag and drop it like I showed you in the previous video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the PDF, uh, which can be a little bit more complicated because you need to be signed into your university so that you have the, the rights to download it, unless it's an open access PDF, in which case you will have the rights anyway. But for this video, this is showing you how you get a reference into your library in the first place. Now you can see here that you've got author, year, title, and you can choose by right clicking on that exactly what you want in your library. So I might say, oh, you know what? I would like to also see uh, the date. So I put that in there. And just like with uh, everything else, you can order these if you have multiple ones um, by author or year just by clicking on it. Um, you can then remove, I don't actually want to see the date. So let's take that back out of there. You can also see down here where the cursor is that you've got all your authors listed out. Uh, all the data which has gone into this reference is all here and you can scroll down and see um, everything that they've put in. But if you say, oh, actually they forgot this and that's important to me, you can type in that you know the EPUB date or whatever and you can put it in there. Um, actually, you should put it in in the same format that EndNote is using below. So you would put it in in this reverse order format. Um, but you might say, there you go, I want to know that the EPUB was this as well. Sorry, I got it wrong there. I, I'm doing the EPUB pub exactly the same as the date here. That's just an example to show you that you actually can edit this. And there's something quite nice down here uh, in the newest version of EndNote, uh, which is that you can type in your own notes. So let's say that you want, you read this paper and you really want to flag up that it was important for some reason. So you want to just have two sentences that summarize the paper. So you might say, take home message is um, whatever you want to put in there. And then that, that'll be saved. If you click on the cross here, uh, it'll say, do you want to save your changes? And then you just say yes. Now, sometimes when you go to a web page of a paper like this, it's not immediately obvious where you get this download citation link. So for example, when I actually put in the exact same search into Google rather than DuckDuckGo search engine, I came up with this paper as the top result. Now, 
I can't immediately see where I downloaded the citation for this. I could scroll around, I could click on some stuff and try to find it, but it's not immediately obvious. So what I like to do, it's probably export actually up here, but what I like to do to save time is I just copy the title and I either paste it into a Google search or I paste it directly into the PubMed uh, database because I find PubMed is actually pretty useful. Or you can see that usually the second or maybe first result will be this link to PubMed. So you click on this and then you'll go to the PubMed reference and that just happens to be the database I'm most familiar with, but you might have your own that you want to use. Um, but it just saves time because when it comes up, I know exactly where to go in this database to download my citation to bring it into my EndNote library. And this is the, where it's gonna take a while, which uh, is not ideal for a recorded video, but you know, here we go, it worked. So I know that for every PubMed article like this, I only have to have the abstract display. I click on send to, and then I click citation manager, and then I click create file. It's now gonna download uh, the EndNote file in exactly the same way that it did for this first paper I showed you, the Nature paper. And the only reason I'm showing you this is just because it's sometimes easier to have your own system which always goes to the same database and always does it in the same way so that you don't get lost or waste time trying to find the file. Anyway, you have to trust me because it says for some reason that the site can't be reached. But here it is, the citation is here. In this instance, I have to click on it and there you go, it's imported it. Um, and it's a different one. It asked me if I wanted to save the changes to the previous reference. So yes, you do want to save those. And now it's showing me the one that I just imported here, and I'm going to put it with assignment one, um, just like I did before. So that's the end of this video on how to bring in a reference from the internet to your EndNote library. The next video is going to show you specifically how to use the University of Sydney's VPN and log in with the library so that you can find PDFs and it will automatically know if the University of Sydney has the rights to download that PDF. That's actually a really useful function because you can bulk download all the PDFs for everything in your EndNote library. Uh, you know, hundreds of, of these at a time if you want. That'll be the next video. I hope that you can bear to come and join me for that one. Thank you very much.